Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Not even time I got out of bed yet. <laughs> what a depressing house this is. <laughs> is it me or is it the room? I wonder if Henry VIII ever got fed up like this down at Hampton Court. <laughs> I bet he didn't have Anne Boleyn spark out of my city. <laughs> I don't know, but that's probably why I had the red on. Sonny got fed up once, had the heart to do with him. <laughs> no, no, he couldn't have been bored. All the people he had around him. Grammar, Thomas Cromwell, Paul Schofield, all that mob great man. <laughs> Stimulating company. Oh, for God's sake. He'd have been first for the chopping block, he would. I don't know, though. You couldn't get through that neck with a fish knife. <laughs> I'm so cool. No, nah, it couldn't have been as bad as this. Not even on a wet Sunday afternoon. Nah, but there'd have been minstrels flying and... Ladies in waiting, all showing out. Courtiers camping up and down the stairs with their coloured stockings on. Aha! Who's this approaching the royal front? Why, it's the noble lord Sussex, Wessex and Essex. And a wee bit Brahms and Liszt, by the look of it. <laughs> what news from Canterbury, my lord? That's <laughs> yellow. <laughs> What's this? You bear a present from the Cardinal Wolsey? Another pair of socks, I suppose. Ah, <laughs> oh, bold, bold. The king is bold. Bring on the court jester. Bring on the court jester. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> I say, I say, I say. What is grey with a big trunk? I don't know. What is grey with a big trunk? A mouse going on holiday. Chop his bleeding head off. <laughs> right now, let's. A quick gallop round Bushy Park. <laughs> 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 Dear auntie, a quick lance, straight up the arras, back home, under the fire for a quick roast up. Marvellous. Bones flying all over the room. <laughs> in the walls in all directions. Great goblets of claret coming out of your ear holes. Bodices and periwinkles being ripped off. <laughs> Grab yourself a quick handful and straight up to bed. <laughs> that is the way we should live. <laughs> I can't go on like this. <laughs> What's I do? Clean my boots, ready for tomorrow. I could wash my hair. I could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Sweet the yard up. Oh, so much to choose from. What about cleaning out the goldfish bowl? <laughs> what about cleaning out the goldfish bowl? Sod the goldfish bowl. <laughs> oh, what a life. <laughs> He's not bothered. Look at him. The playboy of the Western world. <laughs> he looks forward to Sundays, he does. A square foot of Yorkshire pudding, half a dinner Bartlett pears, and his eyes down for the head counting out. <laughs> What's wrong with a wooden head like him? Smug, so satisfied, conceited, bigoted, jolly little git. <laughs> Shall I? Just for kicks. Why did you do it, Mr. Steptoe? Because I'm bored, my lord. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> nothing for him. He means nothing to me. I stand tight as as I would a fly because uh, I, I'm superior. I'm superior to everybody. I can't look for your petty rules. <laughs> You're right. You didn't hear me, did you? <laughs> ah, of course not. I'm stinging little clovias. Sorry? Don't know what come over me. 
You nearly got one right across the beak then, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry. What's the matter with you? Hang on, You're not ill, are you? No, I'm all right. Look, I can't sense sub noises. That's all. It makes me jump. It's only a clock. It's not only a clock. It's that bleeding stupid cooker. It, it, it's Chinese torture, that thing is. Not Chinese, it's sweet. Oh, oh thanks, shut up. It's just a figure of speech, that's all. It's diabolical, that thing. There we are, out it pops, four guineas at all. <laughs> I sit here for 55 minutes, waiting for it to come out again, bracing myself. Now forget all about it. Come back, out it pops again. Go, 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 go. It's out it pops again. Lonnie, your nerves must be in a bad way. I don't involve in my nerves, just leave me alone. Yes, it's not natural getting upset like that over a cuckoo clock. I'm not upset. I think you should get, see a doctor. There's nothing wrong with me. You're upset, aren't you? No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. You're upset about something. I'm not upset about anything. Yes, you are. I know what it is. You're upset because I got more prices right in, in, in the go, going for a song. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. You don't think I get upset about stupid... You, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Have you been cast your mind back? You remember that we was level pegging 10 points each. That's right. Then the last item come up. And you said 2,500 pounds. Yeah. And I said 2,250. And how much did Arthur Nagus say? 25 quid. They won't. <laughs> I was to nearest 10 15. I won. You can't count that. We was both wrong. Yeah, but you was more wronger than me. It's still only worth 25 quid. But it's not a point. I was the nearest. So shut up. Perhaps you've got tired blood. Well, I haven't got tired blood. <laughs> what does that mean, tired blood? Thousands of red corpuscles running round, yawning their heads off. Is that how you see it, is it? Well, there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with me, so do leave off. Are you regular? <laughs> Mind your own business. Does that sometimes put people in a bad mood? I'm not in a bad mood. Well, you're very uh, irritable. I'm not irritable. I'm never... Stop filling me too much! <laughs> I'm winding it up. You're always winding it up. That thing's supposed to go for eight days. You leave it alone. You've got some very annoying habits you have. <laughs> Honestly. You'd get on the Archbishop of Canterbury's tits, you would. <laughs> you have to wake up for? Come out of sleep. Do you like a cup of tea? No. Just as well. We've got no milk. <laughs> then why did you ask? I forgot. Oh, God. I will not see Peace Snow's doing this afternoon. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? I don't like to see you like this. Is it me? No, no, it's not to do with you. I'll be all right. Just leave me alone. Are you worried about the business? No. You're not in any trouble, are you? No. But if you are, you can always come to me. I'll always help you know that. Dad, I am not in any trouble. Then why don't you go out, then? Why don't you go down to the Skinner's Arms? I don't get out of Skinner's Arms. I'm fed out with the Skinner's Arms. Same old people, same old jokes, same old opinions. Have they ever had any? That is a rotten pub, that is. That must be the worst pub in London. Then why don't you go down to the Beehive, then? The Beehive? The beehive? Have you been down there lately? It's diabolical, that place is. It's been discovered, mate. The Alpha Bitter Brigade has taken over. The Monty Python mob. <laughs> you can't move in a car park for time, Spitfire. <laughs> uh, what are you having, Daphne? <laughs> what do you have? Six halves of cooking, please. <laughs> say, get me a scotch egg while you're there, Rodney. <laughs> I'd like to smash their smug little faces in. <laughs> the future ruling classes they are, mate. I think I prefer the skinheads to them. And how about the ship and shovel? I'm not joking, it's full of skinheads. Not the lounge. I don't, I don't like the lounge. They've got the amateur talent contest tonight. I don't care. You could do your impression of Tom Jones. <laughs> I don't want to do my impression of Tom Jones. That always goes well, that does. Some of the blokes down there say you are better than he does. And I say, I'll never win it, then. <laughs> Last time, I had no for two weeks after. I'll never fall in love again. And nothing. That little geezer, he always wins it. That little puff in the see-through shirt. Because <laughs> I land all fancies in, that's why. <laughs> it's ridiculous him doing Tom Jones as well. It's not right. Not, not on the same bill. I thought he was going to do Lulu the way he walked up there. <laughs> Perhaps he won't be there tonight. Look, Dad, I don't want to go down to ship and shovel, so don't keep on. You fancy going to the pictures, then? No, there's nothing on. Ah, yes, there is. There's that one about them lesbians. The killing of Sister Wattie. What do I want to go and see a film about lesbians for? Well, it's nice to know how the other side live. <laughs> You're not interested. 
There's bingo down at the Odeon. For God's sake, Dad, turn it in, will you? Leave off. Perhaps you're suffering from night starvation. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it, isn't it? Of course it is. I beg your pardon? It's a bird. I don't know what you're talking Some about. Some bird's given you the elbow. It's got nothing to do with a bird. Oh, yes, it has. I know you. You're always the same when you're not getting your end away. <laughs> it's all moody. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I might have guessed. That explains it. He's been blown out by a bird. <laughs> all right, so it's a bird. So now you know. You're satisfied, all right? I don't want to talk about it. When did she blow you out? She didn't blow me out. Well, what are you hanging around here for, then? Go out and give her one. <laughs> Father, I would deem it a great favour if you would refrain from using that kind of language when you are referring to Jane. <coughs> she happens to be an extremely nice girl. <laughs> oh, not like the slags you generally go by. <laughs> if you wish to put it like that, no. Jane is a very sweet and lovely person. And I happen to be extremely fun. Well, why aren't you out with her then instead of mooning around here making my life a misery? I can't, because Jane's gone dancing. Who with? Tarzan? <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't gone with anybody. She goes on her own. Well, that should be a laugh. <laughs> Look, she's a member of a dancing club. And every night she goes out dancing. And that's all she ever lives for, dancing. And that's the trouble. Why? I can't dance. <laughs> that scrub me out, ain't it? Oh, loads of blokes can't dance. Yeah, but I told her I could, didn't I? I told her I was a gold medalist. I told her I danced for South London on the television, didn't I? What'd you tell her that for? Well, you know how it is. When you meet a bird for the first time, you, you try to establish some kind of a common ground. You know, chat her up. Lay a bit of sand down. <laughs> I just got carried away, that's all. You know, she's expected me to partner in the finals of the Foxtrot, the quick step. Me Argentinian tango. <laughs> I'm still struggling with the hokey cokey. <laughs> I just have to forget all about it, that's all. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't see everything. Ah, it's all over. That's all there's to it. It's all over. Before it even started. Best looking bird I ever met in my life. Oh, well. I'll go over it, I suppose. Sure. You don't half give in easy, don't you? You expect to hand it on a plate. You've got to work for things in this art, mate. If you want a bird, you have to put yourself out a bit. I knew a lovely girl once. Potola, she was. <laughs> what? Potola. I didn't mess about, did I? I learned potoling. Yeah. <laughs> well worth it, it was, too. Did you all right, did you? What? I bet I'm the only bloke around here that's had it away 600 feet below <laughs> which. <you. laughs> you take my tip, mate. Learn how to dance. Have a few lessons. Nah, I ain't gonna learn how to dance. Stay fun of all them people, not my age. I've been a right bird. Well, then. I'll teach you. You? Yeah. I didn't only pothole, you know. I put myself around a bit. That'd be ridiculous. I don't want to learn how to do the dances. Don't kid yourself, mate. I know the modern stuff. I often have a, a thrash down at the Derby and Joan Club. <laughs> Some of those old biddies there, when they finish doing the twist with me, they're course it's on the wrong way round. <laughs> Come on, get it out of the table of chairs. <laughs> get your crash course. That's the end of the week. You'll make Lionel Blair look like a baby elephant. Now, come on, you stand there. No, I don't want to. Stand there. Now, we'll start with the walls. It's quite simple. Watch me. Left foot forward, right to the side, left to right. Right foot forward, left to the side, right to left. Now, here we go. Left foot forward, right to the side, left to right. Right foot forward, left to the side, right to left. Left foot forward, left one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Pity she's not a potholer. You don't have the time. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I haven't got no natural rhythm. No, no, don't give up yet. We've only just started. Come over here. Now, put your arms around him. I didn't know you could. <laughs> one there. That one there. Now, first step again. Left foot, right foot for you. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 
to take you home tonight. <laughs> Off the dancing feet room. Yeah. You come here often. <laughs> come here often. Come here often. Oh, I think once you heard the lucky boy for Scully, your wife, who kissed you goodnight on your door. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. What did I do wrong? He stood on me bleeding foot. <laughs> oh, so blimey, I'll have toes like globe archer jokes in the morning. <laughs> Honestly, it's easy to move the holes around. Ah, oh, said it was no good. Well, let's forget it. No, no, no. Let's uh, give, give it another go. Take your shoes off. <laughs> you can't have the socks on. See, the only clean pair I could find. Come on, <laughs> You can have them back tomorrow. Well, come on, are we going to do this thing or not? No, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> First position, same again, after three. One, two, three. Oh, how we dance on the night we was wed. We dance and we dance, cause the room had no better. <laughs> Well, we were dancing. Yeah, right. Well. The Argentinian tango. Very nice. <laughs> That's all we were doing. We were just dancing. Oh, it's nothing to do with me, sir. What you're doing in the privacy of your own home is entirely. <laughs> my job's to deliver the milk. No, my, my dad's teaching me how to dance. I was having a quick lesson before I shot off to work. <laughs> Very good idea. <laughs> Go to work on a dance. <laughs> I will suggest that to my missus. <laughs> Quick the till after breakfast, lovely. How much do I owe you? Uh, 22 and 6, if you've got your handbag handy. <laughs> just a bit, sir, just a bit. In fair head, please. In fair head, please. Yeah. One pound, two and six. One pound, two and six. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Well, come on in. Uh, just a suggestion, sir. When you come out of the back break, and instead of the turn round, why don't you try the run around? Hi. Eh? I'll show you. <laughs> Oh, look, you're here in the back breaker, aren't you? Right? What it is, it's this. It's forward and close, and then it's round, eight steps, starting with the left. Right? La, 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 la. No, it's right. Yeah, right, yeah, let's try. Yeah. Right, that's right. Where we go? Right, then. Right. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Right! Yeah, it always slays with us that one, you know. Yeah, that's great, I like that one. Yeah. There's another one I can show you. Hey! <laughs> Who's teaching you or me? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, don't. Mind your own business and get back on your round. Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, well, come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Saucy little bleeder. <laughs> Wait till he finds out what's in his empties in the morning. <laughs> oh, man, that was a good step he taught me, wasn't it? Yeah, rubbish. Much too flashy for you. You try that on a slippery dance floor and you'll end with your head through the drum. I know what I'm talking about. I've been dancing all my life. I've educated feet, I have. I remember when I was 13, I went down to the Shepherd's Bush Empire and auditioned for pantomime. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and when I finished, Mari Lloyd said to me, she said... Mari Lloyd? Yeah, my... <laughs> Mari Lloyd. She said, what's your name, my little man? Albert, I said. Well, come here, Albert, and sit in my knee, she said. I get want to talk to you. Get she did. I remember that well. Big Bristol, she had. <laughs> Albert, she said, in all of my years on the stage, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> you moved across that stage like Sarah Bernhardt. <laughs> right. Sarah Bernhardt had a wooden leg. <laughs> she didn't. To a rotten cow. <laughs> All these years, I thought she fancied me. <laughs> what did she know about dancing, anyway? Now, come on. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the cha-cha-cha. Master this, 
and you can take your rightful place in any ballroom in the land. I want... Up to you now, son. Oh, good luck. Thanks, Dad. Gold medal stand to John now. Oh, I do hope so. It does mean a lot to Jay winning these finals. I do hope I don't let her down. You won't let her down. You're a lovely dancer. You've got natural rhythm. Just relax. Listen to the tempo. Flash the choppers when you pass them to judges. <laughs> and if you fall off of a chip, don't worry. Pick yourself up and carry on. We'll have a drink out of the cup when you come home. All right. Well, I'd better be going because we, we take the floor at 8.30. Once again, thanks a lot. Fish day. That's it. <laughs> Do what I'm troubling. <laughs> Why don't you clean the shard up? That's luck. Leave it. Leave it? I'm, I'm going to the orchid ballroom, not a bleeding barn dance. <laughs> well, I really ought to go. I miss my bus. Mm. Well, yeah, thanks again. Good luck, son. Hope you win. Oh. It's the first thing I've been able to help them in in years. I'll teach them the pass to Pastor Dobley next week. <laughs> Because we was disqualified. And it's all your fault. My fault? What did I do? You told me the woman stepped at the <laughs> Yes, you did. It was fast. We stepped onto the floor. I took hold of her. The band started up. And we both danced backwards. <laughs> we ended up at opposite end of the ballroom. <laughs> the band couldn't play for laughing. <laughs> She burst into tears and the mother belted me down the year over the road that copy the ballroom gazette. <laughs> Look, it's so humiliating, you're my love. <laughs> you did it deliberately, didn't you? You knew something like this was going to happen. I didn't. I forgot. I never thought. I've only ever taught birds before. That's another romance you've ruined for me, isn't it? Hey? Eight days of non stop practice. And what's the result? The only person I can dance with is you. <laughs> okay. I was only trying to help. Well, don't. In future, mind your own business. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> oh, that's you. Up to here. I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's good for you? If you want to keep on living, keep out of sight. No, don't make a noise. Don't make any sound. Don't even breathe heavy. <laughs> you understand? Right. Good night. Night. <laughs> 